Hello everyone! So today's video will be a what I eat in a day. When I make these videos, I like to keep them really honest and just a typical sneak peek into what I eat on a typical work day, including my meal prep. So my day of course starts with playing with my cat and coffee because of what combination could be better. And what I do is I go ahead and divide the coffee that my Bialetti makes into two, coffee for me, and coffee for me. So I bring a thermos, which I purchased at Costco, to the office with me and I add a little bit of half and half to the coffee I'm going to drink right away while I get ready. That way it gets me kind of energized for the day and at the same time while I'm having my coffee I try and hydrate a little bit and I have some lemon water. And I actually really enjoy drinking my lemon water at room temperature. It's neither icy nor warm um, but rather somewhere in between. So by the the time I get to this step it's usually around 7 a.m. so I have about an hour to go before I will probably head out for work and I just kind of get ready at my ease it takes me about 20 minutes to do my makeup and it's a really restful time of day for me I really enjoy it and I just sip on my coffee while I do that and essentially start to work up an appetite because I'm not hungry right away when I wake up so then once I have my makeup on and I've picked out an outfit or really put on the outfit that I picked out the night before because that's what I tend to do when I can, I go ahead and I reheat my steel cut oatmeal. And this oatmeal is life changing. I don't even really like oatmeal and it's just so delicious. So I'm going to show you how I made it at the weekend because I make a full batch of it ahead usually on Sundays and then it lasts me for the whole week and I even make a little bit extra for my boyfriend because he likes it too and it just is such a fail-safe breakfast and it still tastes just a as good um, towards the end of the week as it does towards the beginning. So once my oatmeal is reheating, I don't have a microwave, I know, crazy, um, I go ahead and put on my jewelry because that way my perfume, which I put on previously, has a chance to sink in. I have a little sneak peek for you right here of my new Nouvelle Pearl earrings. I have two types of earrings, which I will be listing on Canadian Thanksgiving on Monday so I'll be doing a debut video for my earrings I'm so excited I can't even tell you I could go on a whole tangent but I will try not to but make sure that you check your subscription box that day because I have a lot of exciting stuff to share with you so once my oatmeal is warm I go ahead and I add just a splash of half and half to it I do like a little bit of creaminess some fresh blueberries and a little bit of maple syrup as well and then I go ahead and enjoy my breakfast for about 15 to 20 minutes before I head out for the day. Usually what I'll do is I'll check some emails or if I don't have too many emails to read, then I'll go ahead and watch a couple of YouTube videos. So here is my meal prep recipe for the apple pie oatmeal. Like I said, it's a flashback. So this is going back to Sunday when I went ahead and made the batch for the whole week. So what you will need is two cups of steel cut oatmeal. This is actually quick cooking steel cut oatmeal oatmeal from Costco, some almond butter or peanut butter, some maple syrup, just the best quality you can get your hands on. It is so flavorful and it makes a huge difference if you have a quality sweetener. Then some apples, I usually use about three apples, some pumpkin pie spice or just cinnamon would work as well, a half of a lemon and a little tiny bit of butter. I use salted butter and I use about I would say a quarter cup for the whole recipe or a little bit less. So I go ahead and chop 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 up my apples and I tend to watch a show while I do this meal prep and it takes me maybe a total of I don't know an hour or an hour and a half um, at the weekend whenever I have the time and I'm always so grateful if I take the time to do this um, because then during the week it just makes me feel so much more in control of what I'm eating and just in control of my schedule to know that that is something that I can reach for that's already done for me. So you'll want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then chop up your butter into little pieces, little tiny cubes, which you will then spread throughout the apples. And the flavor that the butter gives this is a brown butter kind of flavor. It just turns out tasting so much like apple pie. Each of those little chunks of apple will really caramelize and it just is so full of flavor and delicious. 
delicious and apples are really healthy for you and in season and because I felt like the butter I was using was not very salty I did add in a little bit of extra Himalayan salt for that kind of sweet and salty combination that I love you also want to make sure that you season your oatmeal when you make it so this type of oatmeal cooks really quickly from Costco I don't know how they do it but it is still kind of the less processed steel cut oatmeal and I go ahead and I add some pumpkin spice spice into the oatmeal because that infuses it with so much flavor as well because the last thing you want is for your oatmeal to be super bland so I spoon it into my mug. I probably have about a third of a cup or half a cup of oatmeal every day, and then a couple of scoops of apple, a generous spoon of almond butter, and it always dribbles everywhere, and the dribbles are my treat. And then I go ahead and finish it with a little bit of maple syrup if I'm going to take that to the office with me. So I have two choices. I can eat it at home, or I can bring it to the office and microwave it, so then I make sure all the ingredients are already in it. And then off I go to work with my little thermos and my lunch in my Longchamp bag. For lunch, my favorite thing to have during the fall, winter, and pretty much every season because I'm weird is soup. I just find soup to be so hydrating, comforting, and it's not too heavy but still keeps me full throughout the afternoon. So for meal prep flashback, I'm going to show you how I make my special chicken no noodle soup. So it's a chicken and vegetable broth and it is so delicious. I really believe in its not only curative but also preventative properties. So I rarely get sick. Um, I don't know if it's because of this, but I kind of believe that it is. So what I did is I got a lot of really delicious vegetables that I'm going to chop up kind of chunky. So I got some leeks, which I made sure to clean well. And then I got those giant Chinese carrots from my local Asian grocer. By the way, budgeting girl boss tip of the day is to make sure that you don't overpay for veggies that you're going to end up peeling and kind of chopping up really small so it won't really matter if they're pretty. I really like shopping at Asian grocery stores and you know what? These were actually some of the best carrots I've ever eaten in my life which sounds so silly to say but they were just so sweet and tender but not mushy. I really recommend trying the giant carrots if you've never um, had them before. It was my first time buying them. So you want to make sure you season your broth really well with salt and pepper, add your veggies and then add your chicken. I'm actually using a chicken, um, an organic chicken from Costco that I froze and then thawed and then use lots of herbs. I use some bay leaves, some thyme, a little bit of parsley and rosemary and that will add some really great antioxidant properties into your broth. The next tip is to make sure that you bring your broth up to a boil and then cook it for at least two and a half hours and then take it out, take apart the chicken and you have delicious soup for the whole entire week. So most days I would probably have fruit for a snack, but I was having an extra active day. So I went ahead and had a coconut cream bar from Lara Bar, the only flavor that I like, and I warmed it up on the radiator for a bit. And then I came home to fufu and the time of making dinner, which is my favorite relaxation time of the day pretty much. So I'm going to be making the most delicious bottom of the fridge fried rice. This is not authentic Asian food, but it is delicious. So I'm using some frozen peas which give it a really nice sweet little pop of flavor and then some shrimp and then just a variety of veggies of your choice pretty much whatever you have in the fridge I also recommend including one or two eggs I use two and then some kind of bacon um, I'm using pancetta which is Italian weird fusion fried rice I know but it's pre-cut which saves me a little bit of time so I go ahead and chop up my onion today I'm using mushrooms they give a really nice flavor to the dish and texture as well and then these cute little peppers and then chopping up my garlic and keeping that to the side because you don't want to burn your garlic so I tend to add it towards um, a little bit later in the cooking process and then I also have some green onions to finish I'm also using tamari to season um, but actually once I use that up I will be repurchasing low sodium soy sauce because it's not as flavorful in my opinion and I don't need to be gluten-free so I just wanted to try it to see if I liked it better 
So I go ahead and fry up my bacon, and I apologize if things are steamy. Um, that's just the way um, it kind of ends up looking on camera. And then I add my veggies, and these are the ones that take longer to cook, so I'm going to really allow them to get some nice color, and that will really, again, create a nice fond on the bottom of the pan and really create a lot of flavor for the dish. So then my shrimp are actually already dealt with and deveined and frozen, and they're wild, which is really nice because I try and watch the shrimp that I eat. They can be kind of sketchy sometimes um, and what happens is that the water from the shrimp that comes out basically deglazes the bottom of your pan and I really wish I had a wok for this it would be so much better if I did um, but I still need to buy one I've been meaning to ever since I moved into my current apartment but my Le Creuset little pan actually works surprisingly well um, so then I add my garlic and just fry that up for like 10 seconds not too long at all and then add in my cold rice and the rice is a little bit yellowy because I like to add turmeric because that's a good anti-inflammatory and I just really like the yellowy color it gives to food as well it's a weird habit and then I add my eggs fry up the egg a little bit but I actually really like mixing it up with the rice so that it coats each individual grain of the rice and just kind of brings it back to life as well and then I stir in all of my delicious brown vegetables add in my frozen peas and you'll see that I remove the shrimp after I finish cooking them so they don't overcook and then I topped the fried rice with the shrimp and applied sriracha generously because it's delicious and I love spicy food and then I sat with my contract law notes because I was just about to lecture um, and do a double lecture for two hours online. So it was really nice to have some sustenance that came together in about 20 minutes, um, which is really good. For me, that's the perfect amount of cooking time in the evening. Sometimes I do meal prep my dinners and you'll have seen that this was a very large batch of food. So I'd actually made two batches. So sometimes I'll eat the rest of it for lunch. Um, um, or have it for dinner the next day. And then once I'd finished my lectures, I like to finish the day off with either chamomile or green tea. So this is a Yamamoto Yama um, brown rice green tea, which I really like. It's one of my all-time favorites in my anthropology mug, and it just feels really relaxing to have a nice cup of tea at the end of the day. And this has been my recent favorite naughty snack. I'll usually have a couple of pieces of dark chocolate. Um, dark chocolate is my favorite, irrespective of whether it's healthier or not. I just like the flavor more and this one has sunflower seeds and sea salt in it and it's strangely addictive it's also from Costco no they're not sponsoring this video but I just love shopping there for large batches of things and pantry items it just seems to work out really well for me so that is the end of this what I eat in a day. I hope you found it useful. I know it's a little bit different to include the meal prep, but that is how I kind of keep it together um, with my busy ske schedule. So if you'd like to see more real life videos, including style videos, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.